Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today we are going to work on an 8 inch hexagon um, ceramic tile. The uh, shape of the tile looks really cool so I thought why not give it a shot. So today the pour I am going to do, it's inspired by Cindy Vanderveen. Um, if you have not seen her work, go and visit her work. Um, in my description section, I will definitely put her link. I just admire her work. She does such an awesome job. So please, please, please go and check her out. It's like amazing what she does. The first color that I'm adding um, in this mixture, I have DecoArt Americana uh, 24K Gold mixed with some uh, primary elements, Mango Mambo, which is pigment, shimmery pigment. And also I added a teensy bit of um, Golden's Copper, which is a high flow paint. So those three... Uh, combined to get this beautiful goldish yellowish orangish color the next color which is a mixture of tlp's um, marmaid which is a blue tinted um, pigment and i mixed that with uh, amsterdam's bluish green no it's i think it's greenish blue from amsterdam for this beautiful purple, I have added uh, TLP's Groovy, with, um, which is a pigment, and I mixed it with Dark Season Purple uh, from Liquitex Basics. And at the end, I added some Emerald Green. So these are my four colors that I'm going to work with today. And after that, I will layer up my gold, and on top of that, I am going to put my cell activator. Today I'm also thinking that I'm probably use, I'm going to use a little bit, a teensy bit of white right underneath my black cell activator or towards the side. We'll see how it goes. You can see that some of the paints are pretty lumpy compared to the other ones. It all depends on the brand and also sometimes it depends even on the colors. So um, when I mixed um, all these colors at the same time, they all had the same consistency. But as they were sitting for a while, some of them became a little thicker or lumpier. So... I am not very worried about their consistencies at this point because in my mind, when I mixed them with the pouring medium, they all had the same consistencies. And I am sure it's going to work out because initially I had the same consistency.
Now I got my skewer and with my skewer I am I'm going to use the thicker side of my skewer. By the way, let me pop this bubble. It's bugging me, even though it's going to drop off soon. So let's see what I can do. Something happened after this point. Uh, so for some reason, my camera died or something. So I don't have the footage up to this point, whatever the modification I did. But um, I fixed my camera, so I will show you the rest. At the end of the day, the bloom looked so colorful and pretty and uh, like i really wanted to share this video with you guys um so i really apologize for the uh, confusion but uh, that's what i have and life sometimes put you in weird situations you, we just have to navigate through that I hope you like this colorful piece. Again, I'm apologizing because I kind of cut off most of the modifying piece, but the piece at the end turned out so pretty. I felt like I, it's worth sharing with you guys. I hope I will see you soon. And for now, goodbye.